What's up y'all, welcome to Phil Limit Fishing. Hey, real quick this evening, I wanna share with y'all a quick way to customize your own tackle. You can do it on the fly in the boat or at home. Uh, it's just a great way to kind of tinker with your baits uh, and really match the hatch, man. Uh, I've done it on the water several times. Uh, wanted, you know, a certain color. Um, you might catch, you know, a fish and it spits up a crawfish, has a certain uh, color pattern to it. You can literally uh, bust out a pack of uh, silicone skirt bands uh, and tie your own jig skirt on the water right there. So it's, it's pretty neat. And then you can get back in the home and tinker and make any kind of concoction you want um, that's something truly unique, you know, that nobody else is throwing. So I think that's a great benefit. It doesn't take much at all, um, you know, to start up with. Um, all you need to get is some silicone skirts, uh, like here. Um, I get mine from uh, silicontabs.com. They make great product, highly recommend it. Um, Definitely other places you can get skirts, but that's where I get mine. Uh, I have a plethora of those. It, you, endless colors, guys, uh, for days. You can you can get all the colors you want to match any hat you want. Um, and then, you know, other than that, you're gonna need a skirt making tool just like this. This is a very simple tool uh, dedicated to making skirts. It comes with a, a little wire here to pull your skirt through. And then basically this little plastic cylinder with a pointed tip where you slide your rubber band over. Um, that comes off, then you slide uh, this tool through, and then you can pull your skirt. You don't even need this tool, guys. You can literally uh, make skirts uh, with a big pen, and just like this. It's the same idea. You pop the top off there, so you can you know slide your um, uh, metal tool through, and then uh, the front here as well. You just slide your rubber band, uh, and then you can pull this off, and. Here's an improvised paper clip. I made this from a paper clip, guys. Okay, bend it straight, put a little hook in it. That way you can slide this through, pull your skirts, um, and finish your skirt that way. So not a huge investment, um, basically very simple. Other than that, some skirt bands. Um, they sell these anywhere, any tackle uh, supplier, uh, lure making website. They come in different colors, uh, black, clear, uh, chartreuse, and white so depending on what kind of you know skirt you're making for a spinner bait buzz bait um you know you don't want that rubber band to basically stand out you can match your silicone uh skirts with your band so um that's basically all you need uh what i like to do is do my skirts with three tabs i think that's a nice full skirt um usually you can do it's, the options are endless but I like to do like two of the base color and then maybe one of an accent, um, but then you can change it up obviously and do three different tabs or cut tabs in half and add accents that way. Maybe a splash of red or a splash of blue for like a sexy shad, uh, a little strip of yellow or something like that. I'm telling you, whatever you wanna do, you can come up with it, just play with it, tinker. But I'll take three tabs. Um, in this case, I'm gonna kind of mimic um, a green pumpkin with a little blue flake. I don't know if you can see that, but this is a one ounce flipping jig here. I'm gonna put a skirt tab on here real quick for you. So I'm gonna do two green pumpkin tabs and then a uh, black and blue flash accent. Uh, it's just gonna make a really nice jig on this. Um, so what I like to do is in this scenario, I'm gonna lay one tab of green pumpkin down straight flat. Um, you want to get it flat and, and keep all of them, um, you know, straight as possible. Just makes the whole process easier. Here's my black and blue flash that I'm going to put on top of my first green pumpkin. Okay. And then I'm going to take another green pumpkin tab and put it on top of that black and blue flash. So I'm going to take my little metal tool from here. First, I'm going to put my rubber band. I'm going to slide it on top of this pointed cone. I'm gonna roll that rubber band onto this plastic cylinder. Then stick your little metal thing in there. Okay. Now what I like to do is put this metal hook directly in the middle of all three tabs. And then hold down on the end of the other side. Okay. Then you just kind of pinch it guide it in there just to get started and with the you know your pinky basically you're pulling back on that metal tool i like to put about oh i don't know an inch and a half 
uh, of the skirt inside um, the cylinder. Then I'll just slide that rubber band right onto the skirts, guys. And there you go. You have a tab. It's that easy. Uh, and this is a beautiful color combination. Definitely work great around here in South Florida. Um, you know, that's a, almost like an Okeechobee craw to an extent. Last thing to do uh, is going to be trimming up the tabs. This is kind of a key step. Some of these tabs will stick, and you don't want any of these strands to stick. So you just want to find, uh, you know, wherever the tabs, where they go from being segmented into the whole tab on the ends. Snip that nice and clean. Go to the other side. Try and line everything up so your skirts aren't too wonk wonky. All right, trim that fat. Missed a little piece here. All right, so there you go. Both sides are trimmed up. Now the next important step from here is to make sure you kind of go through and separate all these tabs. You want, you know, each one of these little strands um, imparts action into your bait. Um, so like I said, some of them, you know, they, they just stick or you, you miss your cut, but it's very important to almost do like a quality control and go back through each one of these tabs um, and make sure they're separated because that's where your action is, guys. So um, next part is putting it on the, you know, threading it onto the hook. Um, I like to leave about, you know, when it's, when it's on the actual hook, you put the band up there. Um, I just like to hang a little bit over the end of the hook there um, and then have a lot basically on the front dangling off the bait. Um, that's where it's going to flare out. Um, but I'll turn it over like this, kind of spread all the strands out so it's nice and even, you know, get some of that blue flash on all sides. Um, you can, you know, wet this to make it easier, give it a quick lick, get some water, whatever you want to do. You don't really have to do that, but it just makes, it keeps these strands from sliding uh, and getting uneven, uh, basically. But you slide it up there, push it just a little bit gently, make sure it's still all evened up, and then give it that final push all the way up the skirt. Give it a nice little twist, rotate. You can fine tune it from here. But guys, there's your finished product. You got a beautiful flipping jig. Okay, didn't take much. And again, the color combinations are endless. Uh, so that's it. Um, go out and get you some skirts. Uh, get you a little tool. Make one from a big pen. And uh, have at it, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed it. If you got any questions, holler at me. Tight lines, see y'all on the water. Peace.